What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Shot and Forgot. I'm so excited to get back to doing this. I know a lot of you guys are like, well, why did you stop? Blah, blah, blah. And if anything I've created, these take the longest to edit by almost twice the amount of time. I'm sure there's been shows in the past you love to watch, but they got canceled. And the reason was it was just people weren't watching. So the same thing happened with Shot and Forgot. It was like, it was taking too much of my time. Let me explain what it is for all you newcomers. I went on eBay and I purchased 1,035 millimeter film slides. Now inside each box, when you open it up, they are completely random. These are not from one source. It's from a bunch of sources. Majority of these are from the 1950s to the 1980s. So what we're doing is we're taking 12 slides at complete random. I'm picking them from different parts of the boxes. Here they are. We're gonna scan them in an Epson V600 photo scanner, not knowing anything about what we just scanned. We're gonna go in, we're gonna try to get as much information as to where the slide was taken, the year it was taken, who's in the photo, can we take those, and can we reunite them with the original owners? Okay, before we get into it, I'm gonna show you guys a quick DIY on how to make a $4 green screen, because we're gonna shoot this a little bit differently this time. Here's what you need. So I went to the dollar store and I bought four pieces of neon green Bristol board. It's so easy. Step one is you wanna set up your shot. You're gonna take your Bristol board and you're gonna tape it into the wall behind you. It may not be pretty because it's $4, it's cheap. I just go like this, it's clearly very effective. Don't worry about the sides because when you're editing, all you do is crop in the sides and just make sure your hand doesn't go past because otherwise it'll be cut off, right? Welcome back to Shot and Forgot. Uh, let's get started. Photo number one. Here's the first thing we do when we get a photo like this. We look at it and we go, is it the right way? Is this left or right? We have a photo here. This has no text. So text isn't going to help us. However, we've got things like buttons. A lot of shirts have the buttons on the right side. I know it's weak, but when we're trying to figure something out here, we cannot shoot anything down. We've got this woman wearing a pink shirt. We have this castle in the background. We got a garden right here. There's no indicator so far if this image is, is the right way. Honestly, other than the buttons on her shirt, Let's Google that. What side of a shirt are the buttons on? If you're wearing a men's shirt, the buttons are usually on the right. If it's a woman, they're usually on the left. See? Such a small detail can give us information, meaning that most likely we're looking at this backwards. There. If women's buttons are on the left of the shirt, this is how the photo should be taken. We'll see that little, little tiny detail work to the end. We have a castle here in the background. Let's check the slide first. That's another big indicator. It says this is August of 1982. Nothing else. No location, nothing. Large castle in, I want to say France. This looks like France to me. It doesn't help because every castle is beige with high roofs. Originally, I thought it was the Palace of Versailles. It's not. And none of these castles look... Ooh, hold on. Ooh, this looks a little promising. 15 most beautiful castles in France. Okay, no, no. It's got a big garden, but doesn't look like the building. No, definitely not. No, this has like the, the cone roofs. No, no, definitely not. I don't know, guys. We're gonna do a reverse image search. So if you go on Google and you click the camera icon, you can search by image. Holy sh there it is. Chateau Fountain Bleu. Yeah, right. Next step, Google Maps. Okay, let's go satellite. Let's zoom in. Okay, there's the big garden. We just got to figure out where. Okay, nice. We can actually go in. So this photo, where'd it go? Bushes, one, two, three, four main towers. This is going to come in handy too. We can see these three windows from the side. No, this can't be it. This isn't big enough. She must be standing outside the park. There's a walkway right here because we got a person here. We got a bunch of bushes. Ooh, what's over here? No. Hold on. Okay, hold on. What the hell is this then? Okay, so we're looking here. It's actually the park beside it. Okay, okay. We got bushes right there. She might be standing right here. Oh, those are true. Oh! Oh, 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 baby, I found it. Yes, we got the three windows. Look at this. Let me zoom in. Look at this. This is the same photo. Chateau de Fontainebleau. I guessed France. See what happened? We didn't give up. That took 30 minutes to find that one photo. Chateau de Fontainebleau. Next photo. Ooh, what do we got? Okay. Perfect example. The text on this is actually backwards. First impression, we got this woman standing outside of a bar that says King and Queen. Prinny's bar? This should be easy. First off, is this the same woman? 
So this says September of 1983. On the back of both of these slides, we've got a little asterisk star um, in the same corner. Indicates this is probably the same woman. These don't look like the same woman. Like this one has a very triangular face. You know what I mean? Like all top teeth. Same hair though. Oh, she's got a very top teeth smile too. And this could potentially be the same woman. It would make sense. So let's look up Prinny's Bar. Prinny's Bar. Boom. Prinny's, ye old king and queen. That matches. Ye old, oh, Brighton. Ye old king and queen, Prinny's. Oh, it's a hotel bar. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get an address and confirm the outside. Boom. Address right here. Brighton. Found it again, baby. Check this out. Okay, so let's go to right there. Wow, looks different than I thought it would actually. Plot me right outside, right there. It should be right here. There it is. There it is. Look at the sign right here. King and Queen. Prinny's Bar, the red awning, um, looks to be gone, though. That's it. Okay, so it's a restaurant and a hotel. Nice. We got that one pretty quick. All right, next photo. I want to show you guys something, okay? Since the last episode of Shot and Forgot, my scanner has had a software update, meaning look at this photo. This is with all the high quality effects added. Some of the effects are like dust removal, color correction. It'll sharpen the image a little bit. It'll brighten the, the colors. This is before the software update. It's It kind of looks like a gloomy day. I would have never really noticed these people right here by the water and boom you can you can, it's like it actually clarifies this road right here too all the way down we've got a long pond we've got this castle looking thing is this a road right here because that looks like a sewer oh man this is gonna be a hard one to get there's just like no indicators oh my god we just got it we just got it. August of 1982, this slide says, and we've got the asterisks. Last time we saw August of 1982 was Mountain Blue Castle. And we need a big pond. Boom. There it is, guys. Right there. Photo was taken here. We've got that, the road, and then the next pond. Oh my God, this is exactly it. Oh my God, it's like yards from where the other photo was taken. Oh, there's a photo spot too. Here's the tricky thing about old school cameras, okay? The depth of field is is out of whack. You've got them standing here. You've got the river, the road, and the next river, right? Look how close this looks to that versus the distance. If it was taken there, you got all of that. You got all this, a whole road, all that before the next one starts. Very deceiving that it's it's magnified the, the background to look closer. But yeah, we got that one again. Next photo. All right, what do we got? Okay, these numbers in the bottom corner are really helpful. Not only does it tell us the dates, but it also tells us if we're looking at this correctly. So this is 1989, 23rd, do we have a month? No month. Um, we've got a phone. So if anybody recognizes this service provider, this guy's holding a glass of wine or water, walking. No text, what is this? Can we read that? Street signs, any street signs, nothing. I know better than a waste of time on this photo. All right, next photo. Oh, cute. So a few indicators again, right off the bat. Uh, his watch and her wedding ring is telling us that this photo should be flipped the other way, like that. Because like this, he's got his watch on his left. She's got her wedding ring on her left finger. Yeah, this is definitely how it's supposed to be. He's got like a sailor shirt on. Oh, yes. Oh my God, we got their names. Oh my God. This says Top of Flume, Franconia Notch, New Hampshire. Oh my God, look at the date. It even has a date. July 13th, 1958. Perfect indicator, guys. It sounds dark, but we could assume they wouldn't be alive today. Lincoln, New Hampshire. Oh, is it like a state park? Maybe it's a state park. Top of Flume. Let's just, let's just get dropped in here. 1958, that's a long time ago. So much so that the background would be so different. This photo is 63 years old. I'm gonna go ahead and look up their names. Her name is Blanche and his name is Albert Adcock. Okay, let's look for Blanche. Let's see if the name Blanche. Ooh, Albert married Blanche. Adcock, born Jolly. So her original name was Blanche Jolly, 1926 at 25. Well, we're getting so much info. Oh my God. She was born in 1901 in Ohio. They had one son, Edwin Huston, Ned Adcock. Albert passed away in 2000 at the age of 99 in California. They've got one son. If there's a Ned Adcock out there that is watching or has been sent this video, I've got a slide from your parents uh, that was taken in 1958. I'll gladly mail it to you if you want it. I don't know if you're watching, but okay. Next photo. 